My name is Luis Rawls. I have been a shoemaker all my life. I was born in Ecuador, in a small village of Zapateros. In those days, to graduate from high school, you must learn a trade. My skills were my passport, and with a job waiting for me, I immigrated to the United States in 1969. Back then, there were two or three shoemakers in every town, over a quarter of a million nationwide. Today, we are less of 7,000. I am the last American shoemaker in Roselle. One of the biggest challenges that my father's facing this year is that he's turning 66. Uh, he's at a crossroads uh, right now because he's at the need to keep working. I don't think money-wise, especially living in New Jersey, um, he's able to retire at this moment. I also think he's going to actually miss the routine of getting up in the morning. He's going to miss his friendships. It's over 40 years that he's been established here. It's definitely an excuse, but he's definitely at a crossroads of, is it the right time to retire? Today, we have a difficult time, okay? But we surviving. My biggest challenge is uh, retirement because uh, the economy is one of the reasons. And secondly, the routine that, is, that, that I established through the years with my customers is going to be very difficult to just drop. I have to do little by little bit. And uh, I, I'm going to miss them a lot because uh, everyone was part of my life. I've been coming in here with my parents since I was, what, five, six? Yeah, oh. you were in grammar school, right? Yep. Yeah, that's the reason, <laughs> because we actually getting, we disappearing, you know? Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. You are. So who are you handing this down to? Because i got to have someone reliable to go to. Yeah. You're the only one around here, you're right. The relationship that my father has with his clients, he has a a following passed down from generations. His clients come in um, at a young age and they have bring in their five-year-old. Well, their five-year-old now grows up and has their children. So it, it, in one shot, he easily, easily sees three generations, three generations that come to see him. So it creates an, a priceless bond. You have like a snap or something I'm missing? A ribbit? Yeah, uh, some type of snap I'm missing there. Yeah. Can you help me with that one? Yeah, I can do this for you. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. can't buy that type of publicity. In every city there's a shoemaker. Shoemaker in Elizabeth, Roselle, Rosa Park. It's a dying trade, dying field, a dying professional, I should say. Things are so mass produced and readily produced and, and you know, shoes are so cheap and, and instead of repairing them, you just go and replace them. You know, it's, it's before you used to, you know, try to salvage stuff and repair it and, you know, you have a good pair of shoes and, you know, come go to your shoemaker, fix it, get your heels, soles, and get it done. Now it's just, you know, they're gone and just replace them. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that much money anymore. I don't think people know about shoemakers. If you ask one of these kids, they don't really don't know about it. It shows you how, uh, how, how things have changed. You know, unfortunately, it's, it looks like like how tradition has changed. Years ago, you know, the kids would, would say, you know, break it to the shoemaker, do this, we're going to fix, or get your Sunday best on, make sure your shoes are correct, 
make sure your shoes are shined, you have shoelaces and everything. People don't really, really don't do that. Now, there is no shoemaker. There's just, there's not, it's not, almost non-existent. My family feels that it's time I should retire. I've been working almost all my life and, and I provide whatever was necessary for them. They think it's time for me to retire. Louis, I see you've got me in trouble here. Check. That's checkmate. Check you got mate. me again. When I retire, we're going to have a more time to play this yep. game. Cuando la vida se pierda tras una cortina de años, cuando la vida se pierda tras una cortina de años, vivirá a flor de tiempos, amores y desengaños, vivirán a flor de tiempos, amores y desengaños. Do I want him retired? No, no, absolutely not. Um, I, I want him to retire when he's ready to retire. Retirement is just should be based on individuality. If this person's physically capable of doing it, he's still physically capable of doing it. He's working hard all his life. I think it's time for him to enjoy with me. You know, go to the park, or he likes to play chess too, you know. He can dedicate a little bit himself to uh, My father's personal legacy is how he has touched many lives. Besides just being a shoemaker, fixing people's shoes, he's gone to know people, know their families. Um, he's been here for a very long time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Blow a candle. Blow. Whoa. Yeah. Hello, Russell Shuriper. Yes. We open every day from 8 to 6, except Sundays. Uh, it will cost you heels around $17. Have soles and heels, $35. All right. Thank you very much.